Hello everybody and welcome to the SB Game Fun channel. We're going to move forward here with uh, episode 15 of Dishonored. Thank you for joining us today. Hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy it. Hopefully you'll stay to the end. <clears throat> and without further yapping from me, let's get going. Let's see here where we left off. I think this was a hard state. Yes. So we're trying to get to uh, past the, I think we got past the Caldwell Bridge. We're trying to get to um, where are we? Okay, let's just do a quick uh, check here on. Yeah, we're trying to abduct Sokolov. <clears throat> so let's take a look here. I think we hid we hid ourselves in here. Yeah, because right there is a. A big problem. We need to go check the top. See if there's something up here. And we can't do anything in here. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm. <laughs> it's been so long. I keep forgetting the uh, F key. And. It looks like we can't get anywhere here. So therefore, we have to go downstairs and out the front door. Let's leave it open just in case we need to uh, We got past the uh, staircase barrier. So up here, I believe, it was uh, the rooftop, and we can get through. Hmm. Have we gotten to this point yet? Is there anything here? Oh, there's something right above us. there just yet Sokolov's experiments, and pigs mean nothing to me. Understand? Right, right. I mean, why worry about a couple of disgusting, smelly pigs, you know? All pigs get slaughtered sooner or later. Better if I wonder about those sounds we heard from the warehouse, wow. right? I mean, <laughs> what was that all about? That's better. You'll go far, Grayson.
All right, so we got rid of the first guard. Let's see if we could uh, do a little bit more, try to thin out the herd here. At least one more. Said he's dead. We'll make it three more minutes. Supposed to be working. The oil must be working. Oh, the You're gonna bleed, damn you! I'm gonna find you at some point. Come on. Stand clear. Man, I shouldn't have let them out. I shouldn't have let them out because they, he killed both of them. So he killed the lady. And where's that dude? Guys around here somewhere.
Go away, man. Jeez. Okay. I don't want to do that again. Okay, got myself some coins. How much? How? Oh, oh, sorry. I have only two canisters of of the of the mana. So. There's a risk. Hmm. I think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night. Chances are very good. <coughs> what was it? Oh, I missed. Oh, I should have. I should have. Quick save. Man, that was terrible. Okay, I'm gonna quick save right here. <laughs> that was terrible. A body. Someone will pay for this. Someone get over here. Now. How did he get back here so fast? What the heck? It's like he appeared. I did not want to kill all those guys. Oh, jeez. I mangled up these guys, didn't I? Okay, so we just we just disposed of a bunch of dead bodies. <laughs> oh, let me get the guy's head. Oh, that was not how I wanted to do that. Oh. <laughs> Let 
me know if you want to gamble on the hounds again. Another night, another patrol with you. Okay, we got a guy down there. A, mu a music box. He's got that music box, so he might actually prevent me from using my. Oh, perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. You're going down. Where are you? I'm gonna have to resort to to murderous rampage. Check under everything. 
check everywhere. Oh, what the fuck? Damn it. Move your ass. Find it. I'll find you. Someone get over here. Flank him. Stand clear. Get your heart to the house. Take this. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna have to go hard, hard up on these guys. Dang it. I did not want to have to resort to, to violence, <laughs> but it's, I have no choice now. I set the alarm off. Ugh. Darn it. I know you're here somewhere, scum. did not. Oh, no way. Ugh. Ugh. Whoops! Oh, I'll find you. <laughs> I'm, I'm 
I'm just chucking everybody now. everybody <laughs> loot 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 right now I, I have no mercy for anybody so that's a terrible thing I'm just I'm just killing everybody because uh, I ran out of the poison the uh, sleep darts sleeping darts ah it's terrible the flooded district have we read this Excerpts from the re report on Dunwall by the Breen City Watch. Before the plague turned everything to crap, Rudshore was filled with barristers and money men rushing around taxing each other and whatnot. Every guard in the watch wanted that post, and there was classy women everywhere. The whole place flooded years ago. Just as the plague got real bad, people were sick and nobody was working. So the city let the dam go to rot. When the big one broke, I've heard tell the river put it all underwater. The swanky chamber of commerce was there and so was the bloody Greaves well house. Now there's nothing but rats and gangs and who knows what. Last I heard the captain had been using it as a quarantine for weepers. You show one sign of the plague and it's your citizenship has been revoked. Over the wall you go into the water. The flooded district. Okay. I don't know if there's a way for me to reduce killing people now. Now that I've just about murdered everybody here. Let's take a look through the doorknob if we can. I hope there's nobody over there. Oh, another canister. Yay. A map. 75 coins. Mysteries of Pandicia. Excerpts from the book of the far continent Pandicia. At the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandician continent as a place of wonder where all of life has entwined and, the blossom, and blossomed across the eons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civilized world. The overall, the, uh, the overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman by contrast, talk of the horrors and the heresies of cults of sub-men engaged in brutal, perverse rituals. A few who have traveled to the far continent and come back to the isles, those who have actually touched the soil there have returned with notes that describe vast deserts, deep jungles, and outlandish creatures that defy belief. Once in a generation, a great effort is mounted to build a colony there in hopes of this someday growing into a port city to rival Dunwall itself. But to date, these attempts have all ended in madness and failure. Well, well we're not doing very good right now. We left a whole bunch of people alive. And we need to, oh. Yes, I needed those. Well processing. Okay, I've read this one. Herbal medicines. Okay, I think I have to get... No, I don't. I don't... I don't think I need that, do I? I just took one off down, down below. I hear I hear something right above me Oh, 
it's on the roof. It's on the roof. That's my target. Is there anybody out here? Hmm. Working exactly as it should. Search. You should thank me. Soon we will have a cure for this terrible disease, thanks to all my hard work and dedication. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Take a look around here and see if there's anything we can take. What do I want this for? Niles report. As requested, this is a sample of the black market elixir we believed to be coming from one of the abandoned distilleries. No doubt it is inferior to our formula or even to Pierrot's remedy, but people are desperate. We have not been able to identify the additional ingredients. Perhaps you'll have better luck. One thing of note, some of the men of the watch claim when pressed to have purchased and used this stuff from time to time since it is cheaper than either of the popular brands. None of them report any illness or complications. So while it may not protect them from the plague as well, it doesn't seem harmful. Lieutenant Christopher Niles, Second Dispensary Details, Dunwall City Watch. Sokolov here. Excellent progress today. Test subject 312 is declining rapidly. As I theorized, formulas 12 and 17, administered in combination, greatly accelerated the progression of the disease. Interestingly, the respiratory mucosa had erupted and raised pustules, grayish in color, which burst, causing hemorrhaging and pain. I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which, in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential, according to the latest celestial alignment. As for Test Subject 312, after the characteristic swathing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. 
Wow, that's messed up. This lady's gonna die. Thank you, whoever you are. He kept me in a cage, like an animal. Pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. Well, that's... That's not cool. She's dead. Sokolov signed her death warrant. That is messed up, man. How do I get out of here? Can I teleport? Oh yeah, I can. There's Samuel. Okay, where the heck is he? The royal physician himself. He made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. All right. Yes, let's get Sokolov back. Okay, that was a very bad mission on my part. It was horrible. I killed a bunch of people. I didn't collect all the barns. How many people did I kill? Oh, I killed 19 people. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. But at least my chaos is a little low. Oh, I ran out of sleep potions. Oh. oh well. Could have been worse. I could have had 20 hostile kills. Well, we're going to head back to the Hound's Pit Hub and interrogate this guy. They set up a cell for soaking off in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have a bad. Well, at least I got my objective done. <laughs> oh, killed everybody else. Well done, well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant. But he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. It could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding in the tunnel. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time.
Mission clues updated. The royal ph physician Anton Sokolov has been captured. His intimate knowledge of the Lord Regent's support network is sure to be a boon to the loyalists if Sokolov can be convinced to cooperate. Nothing to display my task. Okay. Let me um let me stock up, get all my gear ready. Um and then we'll we will prep for the next run. Food? You got food for us? Oh, you got anything I can All right. I'm working on a new arc pylon. It will perform absolutely stunning acts of destruction, I expect. All right. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. All right, Piero. Good, I need to take a look at your weapons and new upgrade, boot stealth. All right, cool. Did I get a lot of money? Oh, yes, I got 3,100. Let's take a look at the upgrades. And we can't get any more. Can't carry any more. Um, uh, sleep potions. I can't believe that. Hold on. Actually, hold on. Let me take a look at that. What does that do? Reduce footstep sounds. Yeah, I think I need... I make too much noise. Oh, boot steps too. 600 simoleons. Yes. Um, spring razor capacity increases. Spring razor storage capacity by 4. Increase grenade storage capacity by 4. Total of 9, so I can carry more. Um, what is this? Spring razor radius. Increase radius for spring razor. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to kill people. Makes the sword more effective when locking blades and pushing against an enemy. No, I think I'm okay with all the rest. Okay, faster reload. That I want. Yes. Um, incendiary. Oh my goodness! I didn't know I had incendiary bolts. Okay, let's let's load up on. I don't care. I'll rather have nothing than. Rewire tools. I have. I have two. There are a hundred a pop. That's good enough. Ah, uh, crossbow bolts. Those are very. Oh no, I only have, th only have six. Well, I got half of it. Wow. Supplies are very limited. Corvo, can I tell you something? I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. I don't think anyone else here knows about it, but I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Hmm. That's a good idea. I don't think we'll... Yes, Mr. Corvo. I hope I'll we make won't sure be... your quarters are clean, sir. I don't want to get raided, but if ever this area gets compromised, yes. Ah, money. Is this is a new one. Lord Pendleton, Memoirs, Chapter Forty One, in which I bed two of the Boyle women the third by virtue of some inclement weather. It was the month of rain, and 
and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies hosted three nights of merriment by invitation only. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked in the door, with my manservant bringing not one, but two cases of effervescent wine from the south. In fact, I had come laden with gifts, such that all three Boyle women soon took notice and they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallace! Found these interruptions. <laughs> oh, this guy's... He's got a bloated ego. Okay, there's a... There's a key. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall mm. by respecting the property and oh. rights of others in these trying times and preserving Abandoned the timeless beauty apartment of key. our yes. city. Thank you. And that was very good of her. Very good of her. Why are you standing here, Mr. Havelock? Admiral? Alright, let's, um... Let's take a walk back upstairs. You know what? I haven't... I haven't visited with Emily since she... Since she came to work... Came to this facility. <clears throat> Maybe we'll go and talk to her. Here we go. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. The Trials of Aptitude excerpts from the book of the esoteric practice of the Abbey. Once a child shows the proper inclination... Oh, we've read that. The Fugue Feast, we have read that. Calls, Call to the Spheres, Volume 1, I believe we've read that as well. Medicinal Herbs. Oh, she's having some bad nightmares. Callista. Alright, I don't want to bug her. So we will leave her to sleep. And let's go get some shut eye. Before we. See, I knew it. Packet of darts. It's all right. It's okay. Oh, more money. Lord Pendleton's reward. Let's read what he has to say. Corvo, this matter with my brothers has not been pleasant at all, so I don't wish to discuss it further. However, I really must thank you. I've heard that you found some rather some other means of neutralizing them without taking their lives in genius. Wherever they are, even if they are miserable, they are alive at least. So perhaps someday I will see them again. Lord Trevor Pendleton. Well, that's kind of nice of him. So how much, how much, how much dough did he give me? My inventory. Oh man. I should have, um, okay, never mind, I, I'm dwelling too much on stuff. Let's go ahead and take a nap.
You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. So I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. All right. So we need to go interrogate Sokolov. So let's head down. Well, Mr. Sokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite. Very good. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like a COVID sneeze. But of course I don't have COVID. <laughs> so, all right, so let's... Uh, what was our objective again? Oh, we got to go talk to Sokolov. You know, let me double check these rooms because I might... Uh, there might be stuff I didn't finish looking yesterday. The heck? The renovation of Caldwin's Bridge will be delayed in... I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shape like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. Oh, you peeping Tom, you perv. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Hmm, he should not have done that, whatever the heck he was trying to do. Yeah, this is uh, Cecilia. She gave me a key to one of these apartments over here. She's there across the street. It's probably the one where, in some place over here, maybe? Attention, Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a uh, serious offense. I don't want to disturb her. If there's, so punished by officers of the watch. Is there somebody in there? Ah, oh, there's, uh, there's a lady in there. And we should leave her alone to her bath. <laughs> P.R.O., you perv. Oh my gosh. Is there anything else we need to uh, grab? Is there any stash? Come on. Come on. None of these guys have anything other than... What's his face? Pendleton? Hey, you know, we forgot to read this guy's uh, um, entry number one. Uh, here, it's been days since the men are dispatched to stash. Weapon. Okay, this is. Well, it seems that we have invested in the right man with Corvo. Not only did he free Martin from the office of the overseer, the high overseer, but he went into that viper's nest and sorted out, sorted out Campbell completely. Personally, with Corvo in our company. I suspect there is no one in the world we cannot touch. We are now committed to this path. path. There is no turning back. Have a lock. Log entry three. Pendleton was willing to go further than I thought. He served up his own flesh and blood to the cause, and I can see that he's truly loyal to the Empire. Could I have done the same if my brother was still alive today? Probably. Undoubtedly. Many innocents must be sacrificed for the good of Dunwall. Every loyal watchman that falls beneath Corvo's blade is giving his life for the Empire. I don't know about that. He is returning now with Anton Sokolov over his shoulder. Simply amazing. 
Not only can Corvo project lethal force, he can do an extraction that can that I didn't think possible. And soon the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here, together. If I could get these rivals to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of unimaginable power. If I could command both of them, well, I'll wait and measure their dispositions toward one another before following that line of thought. All right, Admiral Havelock, the Pendleton's vote. Votes. Did I read this? Havelock, bravo, sir. The Lord Regent is furious about losing the most recent vote at Parliament. He was counting on the support of the Pendleton family and expected limited resistance, just as you said it would. Losing the Pendleton vote block, voting block has really slowed him down. And since the Lord Regent's defense budget failed as well, he's getting desperate financially. It seems that most of the coin he's used using to keep the city watch going is coming from a close ally. We suspect it is a powerful noble woman who is perhaps his mistress. I'll try to dig up some more information. As we know, if the watch doesn't get paid in coin and in elixir, their loyalty will start to crumble. Your friend on the inside. Hmm. And so they have someone on the inside and it looks like If we don't, if we can find out who his support is. You are required to boil any water from public fountains or the river. Anyone who has consumed untreated water must be reported to the watch. All right. So I think our next our next quest might involve. Might involve Might involve I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm daydreaming. Might involve uh, some of uh, Sokolov's associates. Royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. <laughs> I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spy master, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scared. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry clay, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us, Sokolov. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Hmm. Is there something I can bribe him with? I don't want to stick the rats on him. Curious strategy. Of which I approve. Well, let's talk to Piero. I'll leave it to you. But if you get tired of questioning Sokolov, I'll let you know that his taste for King Street brandy is legendary. I think Piero has a bottle. It might help persuade him. If not, 
Well, call me if it gets entertaining. Hmm. Brandy or some type of drink. Pier Piero has it. Well, let's see what you got, buddy. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendisian spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Sokolov is a potential ally. I'll take the brandy. Keep the brandy. There are other ways to make him talk. Well, how much is it? Oh, it's only 150. Oh, I'm glad I didn't spend all my... <laughs> I'm glad I picked up a few bars of gold. Oh, thank you. All right, we got our... We got our, we got our brandy. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the recommendation, Lord Pendleton. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Yes, I Just hope he will too. I could use a drink. All right, Sokolov. There you go. King Street Brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. Well, we're done interrogating Sokolov. Thank you for the taking my brandy. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. All right, Lord Pendleton. Deliver a note. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Regent. I'll be sorry to miss the whole affair, but you know how it is. Top secret missions and all that. All right. What's over here? Oh. It's our river access. And... Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to see lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I of knew course. it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. <laughs> Whales, witches, ah. Okay, folks, that's, um, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm seven minutes over my one-hour mark. Um, it was a great run. 
although I I canned it with with all those deaths uh, didn't do a very good job because I'm trying not to kill people I, I don't I'm not um, that's just my path but um I am again still over eight minutes now so hopefully uh, the next episode won't be so long but thank you for joining me on this episode episode 15 of dishonored hope you enjoy it and hope you will return for the next episode until then have a good one <laughs>